Implicit bias can be viewed as an unconscious favoritism actually towards a person or a group of people, but to be favored also inherently means that some, someone else is not favored. So therefore, most people view implicit bias as an unconscious prejudice against a person or maybe even a group of people. Absolutely everyone has some form of unconscious bias. The truth is it resides in all of us. Uh, it's a natural result of and psychological reaction to how we've all viewed the world. It's shaped by our upbringing, our life experiences, our cultural exposures, just general daily interactions. As a female and a person of color, I'm obviously a double minority. Uh, so biases I've experienced in my personal and professional lives have been both implicit and explicit. Uh, for example, common assumptions are made about individuals' race, ethnicity, or even education level based simply on their voice, uh, their speech pattern, their dialect, sometimes even vocabulary. So I'm a firm believer uh, that open discussions about tough topics, while oftentimes uncomfortable, really do work to ease tensions, provide clarity, uh, encourage understanding and can sometimes work to, to dispel myths. Uh, I really do try to encourage people to educate themselves as I am attempting to educate myself, um, read up on the topic. Uh, take the Harvard implicit bias test to see where your biases lie. I, I took it twice because I was completely shocked by the results I got the first time around. So no one is exempt. Um, once you know who you are more likely to have an unconscious bias towards, challenge yourself to be mindful of that group of people. Push yourself to intentionally move in a more equitable direction where those people are concerned, uh, both at work and in your personal life. Ultimately, just treating others as you would like to be treated. As long as everyone comes to the table willing to listen to and learn from one another, I feel like there is a benefit in open dialogue. Implicit bias is not something we should be afraid to address. Instead, it's probably more constructive to work towards identifying our biases and addressing our own individual blind spots as a means to improve human interaction and strengthen our interpersonal connectivity.